Meow. Say hi, Bella. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It was a long break, but my face really needed it. After doing those 31 days of Halloween, my face hated me. Even though I was doing all the proper skincare, it, it was just angry and I just needed that extra sleep. So sleeping in till at least like 6, 6.30 in the morning was fantastic. But thanks for sticking around and waiting for me to come back. I am so excited to be back. And as you can tell, I got everything all decorated a little bit for Christmas here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my Instagram story that I collect the Too Faced Christmas boxes. And I thought it was really cute. And then tis the season. I did purchase this at Winners and I will have a Winners Fab Finds slash Christmas gift ideas video coming up soon for you guys. So I'm really excited for this video today because I went into Sally's Beauty and I was waiting for this to launch and to come out and it's the collab. It's a whole entire collection from eyeshadows to foundations to lipsticks to a beauty blender to brushes to eyeliners, mascara, you name it, they did it all. And there was quite a few uh, beauty YouTubers that got together with Sally's and did this collaboration, which I was really, really excited for. And because the main reason why I was super, super excited for it was because What Would Lizzie Do is involved in this collaboration. And I've been watching her for years. So when I seen this, I really couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So today is going to be a first full on first impression. I haven't opened up anything yet. I haven't tested anything. I will list all the beauty YouTubers that were involved in this and it's called Collab and it's so, so gorgeous. Flat matte packaging, absolutely beautiful. This is one, I do believe there's like th two or three other eyeshadow palettes um, that came out. But this one here really caught my eye because it's these beautiful warm tones, almost reminds me Somewhere along the lines of like modern renaissance, like those kind of tones. Really excited for this. I also picked up the foundation and the concealer as well. Once again, the flat black matte um, cover, which is really, really pretty. I think it's just so beautiful and sleek looking, really, really gorgeous. And then I picked up, whoops, <laughs> the beauty blender. And this is called the Multitasker. So when I seen this, I was like, you know what, I'm definitely picking this up because I'm always trying to find another alternative for the beauty blender because that's so expensive. I will have all the prices of each item when I'm using it up on the screen afterwards. But when I seen this, I was like, okay, they're like big YouTubers, so they gotta make a good beauty blender. So I was really, really curious about this one. And it says that it has 10 angles. So, and it's latex free as well. So if you guys are sensitive to latex, that's good to know that it's latex free. So it has like a pointed or yeah, pointed tip, which is for small areas. And then the curved sides controls application. And then the bottom is an all over finish. And then a slanted edge, which is for highlight and contour. But I'm only gonna be using this really for my foundation and my concealer. Then I went ahead and I picked up like two of these beautiful um, lippies. I'm having a moment. You know, that's what happens when you haven't done videos in a while. <laughs> but anyhow, beautiful Dofa applicator, really nice, no smell, which is fantastic. And then I went ahead and I picked up an eyeliner. So like I said, there's quite a few products. I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys to go over there and check it out. Also, I do believe that when I purchased this at the time, it was buy one, get one free, I think so. Yeah, buy one, get one free. Yeah, because I got two products actually. So it was buy, yeah, buy one, get one free, which was great. So. Um, and then if you guys have like the Sally's card or if you have the pro card, which I have the pro card, so then I get a bit of a, like a little bit more of a discount, which is great as well. So I'm really excited to use these products. So with that being said, let's jump into this video. So you all know that I'm going to go in with my very faithful eyeshadow primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer in the shade Light. 
love this stuff. It's like the best stuff in the world. I had to put my bunny ears on <laughs> just to get the wig out of the way. So now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. And this one here is the Palette Pro eyeshadow palette. And this one here I is called Best of the Day. So then they have two looks on the back of it and it says Daybreaker and Indian Summer right here. So then it just shows you what colors they use to create this look, which is really nice, especially if you're new to makeup. It's always nice to have like a little picture on the back just so you know how to create that look, which I thought was really awesome. And here are the shades here. So pretty, really pretty. I gotta say, I really do love the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to apply the lightest shade right here. Okay, that light shade is a really pretty shade, no fallout, which is nice. Now I really want to take this shade right here and I'm going to take this shade as well. And I'm just going to apply this in my crease. Ooh. Holy, that's like really pigmented. That is stunning. That blended out really nice. Like that's super, super pretty. Now I'm just gonna take my color for switch and just clean off my brush. There we go. And I'm going to go in with that burnt shade that I showed you, this one right here. I'm just going to apply that as well. Now I'm going to take this pretty shimmer shade right here. I'm just going to apply this to my lid. Oh my goodness, do you guys see how, like I'm not one for shimmer shades, I'm really not, I just, I don't like them. But lately I'm kind of somewhat starting to get into them, but this shade is absolutely beautiful. It glides on really, really nice, and I didn't even wet my brush. So can you just imagine what it would be like if I wet my brush? Like, that is such a stunning shade. Really, really pretty. Now I'm going to take this orange shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye. Just to darken up that area. Oh my goodness. That is so, so pretty. I'm just going to drag a little bit of that down to my lower lash line as well. Now I know that the colors are a little bit high up on my crease, but don't worry about that because like I said, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> now I'm going to take this brown shade right here and I'm going to be applying it to my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead with the liner and this one here is called Ink Addict which is what they named their liners which I thought was really cool. I will also pop the name of the actual liner here on the screen as well along with the price and it's a really nice fine tip as well. Amazing because to be honest, I have quite a hard time doing a wig liner. That's why I always like to use tape, but today I didn't want to use any tape. But this made it super, super easy to apply. Like, I'm really impressed. So, what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to go off camera, do the other eye, then I'm going to come back and apply the foundation and concealer and all that good stuff. So, while I was off camera, I did go ahead and apply lashes. These ones that I'm wearing today are by the Vintage Cosmetics Company and they're in the style Kitty. They were only $4.99 at Winners. I absolutely love these surprisingly because I'm not a fan of lashes, but I like these because they fit my eye. I have such a small eye, so I really don't like going to buy lashes and then cutting them and trimming them and make them fit my eye and sometimes you fool up. But these ones fit my eye so, so great. So if you do see them at Winners, definitely pick them up. They have quite a variety of styles and yeah, $4.99, you can't go wrong. So now on to the foundation. What I love about this foundation so far, haven't even worn it, it has a pump and the packaging is really beautiful. It's this glass and of course the flat black 
um, cover and I got the Shave Ivory. Now I did take my Max uh, Fix Plus spray and I already sprayed the sponge so it is kind of getting a little bit soft. So I'm going to go ahead now and just apply the foundation. I already got my moisturizer on and all that so my face is ready. There we go. So I took four pumps out on my hand and let's see how well this works. So there we go, there's the foundation applied and I have to say it applied really, really nice. I'm just gonna give you some information about this foundation. So it's called Meet Your Matte and this foundation is medium to full coverage soft focus matte finish and blurs imperfections and i think it comes like in 12 shades i think that's what i counted anyhow i will pop it up on the screen if that's the correct number <laughs> but i really did like how well this applied to the skin and it feels like there's absolutely no foundation on my skin really nice and lightweighted absolutely beautiful i really really love this shade um i did blend it down my neck and i have to say that the shade ivory matched me really really well normally i would always go with like a porcelain shade because i am so pale but i did find that when i was looking at the porcelain shade there it looked to be a little bit too light for me so i'm happy that i went with this all in all really beautiful coverage i really really truly love this foundation i could honestly say that this could be my go-to foundation now for the multitasker beauty sponge i have to say that i really did like this especially the flat end for blending i do believe that's what it says for the bottom for an all over finish blends and buffs. I really like this, especially when I was applying the foundation to my nose because I find that with certain foundations, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it just really moves around a lot on my nose and I can't get the product to stay there. There's only a few foundations that I found that I've been using a lot that will stay there. But I found that this really applied the product really super nice. And also this hair, this beautiful flat edge here, when I was applying the foundation underneath my eye, I really found that it worked well, like really, really nice and it controlled the product really well. So now let's go in with the concealer. So this concealer here, what shade did I get? I got porcelain. So because the ivory one looked to be a little bit too dark and of course underneath your ivory, you wanna go really nice and bright. So I do love the packaging once again, really nice. Beautiful applicator as well. And it's really nice and like wide, which is great. So let's see how well this works. You all know that the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is my all time favorite concealer. I really love that. So this will be kind of putting it to the test to see how well this is. I really liked how it's applying. I love the applicator. It like glides the product on really, really nice. Beautiful. Like that's moved and like just spread so, so nice onto the skin. I don't know if it's because of this flat edge to this beauty sponge, but that like, that's absolutely flawless. I love the coverage. So on Sally's website, it does say that this concealer is a buildable concealer, a medium to full coverage. I definitely agree with that. I love the finish that this concealer gives to my under eye area. The girl at the Sally store said to me, listen, there's a lady in, she loves the concealer. You will definitely love it. I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. Oh my goodness, so, so beautiful. And it feels like there's absolutely nothing under my eye area, which I really like because I don't like products where you can really feel it on your face because I feel like then it's weighing down your face. And I set my under eye with nothing. So it's just the concealer. I set it with no powder. So can you just imagine what it would be like if I set it with powder? Really beautiful. They have quite a few shades. So I totally love this. So now I also went off camera and I contoured my face with the shade and light contour palette. Now with all that done, I am going to go in with the lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks. I'm really excited for these because I am such a fanatic about lipstick products. From mattes to liquids, 
to now even glasses which is really surprising because I was never a gloss girl but anyhow I'm really excited to try these and I think today I'm going to go in with this beautiful dark shade and this one here is called Out of Breath. This beautiful nude shade is called Whatever. They have quite a few shades so definitely take a look to see what catches your eye but these two caught my eye and the applicator is absolutely gorgeous really nice and big and wide I like that and of course <laughs> but as I was saying earlier on there's absolutely no smell glided on really really nice so here's the palette swatched for you guys now. The top shade right up here is the lightest shade. You're obviously not really going to see that because where I'm so pale, but they swatched so beautiful. And this is just with one finger swatch. Really, really gorgeous. So all in all, what do I think of these products? I am in love with them. So, so gorgeous. This eyeshadow palette, out of all of them, really caught my eye. I just love these beautiful warm tones. Like I said earlier, it kind of reminds me of the Modern Renaissance palette. Really beautiful. Love the flat black packaging. The foundation is gorgeous. Feels like there's nothing on my face along with the concealer. And this liquid lipstick is so gorgeous but then it dries down which is really nice as well and it didn't transfer it's not moving it's just all around really comfortable to the lips i am so impressed with these products if you guys go to your local sally's definitely check it out because it has a very big variety of products that you could choose from i went ahead and i picked out the products that caught my eye the most that i really wanted to test out and see and this eyeliner is amazing because I do have problems drawing a real nice wing liner but this liner is really nice and kind of stiff and sharp and it just gets really nice in there into your inner corner of your eye and just glides on so great so I definitely well I recommend all the products that I use today but if you are like me and you have a hard time with the wing liner definitely pick this liner up because it is beautiful all in all I'm really impressed with this and this this multitasker sponge really love this especially for getting the concealer right underneath your eye because it just spreads the product out so great and it gets really nice and close in there which I really like so guys definitely go check out the collab collection at your Sally's beauty supply let me know if you guys own any of the products in the comments down below I will definitely be going back to Sally's and buying some more products I can't wait they have like individual brushes I'm really curious to see how well they work. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So you guys, I decided to do a check-in while I sit here in the parking lot of my daughter's school and wait for her to come out because I think that when you're testing out new foundations and concealers, even to the liquid lipsticks and all that, you definitely got to do check-ins to see how well it's holding up. So that video, I did that early this morning, around 8 o'clock in the morning. It is now, what time is it? It's like going for 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's like damn poor rain, as you could tell. Like, it's crazy madness here. The foundation, concealer, even the lipstick is holding up amazing i even went after the video i went and i had a cup of tea and some toast and like it never it never moved off my lips which is totally awesome even the concealer like as you could tell it's not creasing at all whatsoever the foundation is still holding up really really well especially on my nose area because i do have a tendency that foundations do move off my nose and it wears off really quickly so yeah so i am really super impressed with these products absolutely amazing i could definitely say that they're going to be like my go-to foundation concealer everything and even the eyeshadow is still as beautiful as what it was when i applied it this morning so i just thought i'd pop on here and do a check-in because i felt like this review definitely needed a check-in at the very end so guys that's it and have an awesome day bye